What's up everybody, Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today we're gonna to be trying out the viral forehand form tip from Jeremy Coling. We'll take a quick look at the clip. If I'm throwing it straight, I'll start off with my hip facing the target and then I'll start off right foot, left foot, and then I take my right foot and I bring it behind this plant leg here. And then before this even hits the ground, I'm already moving this foot forward into my plant step. And the foot, it doesn't necessarily have to be pointing exactly straight, but I don't want to close my body off this way. Then my hips can't open up fully to bringing it back towards that target. So I like to have my foot out forward and this gets my body in that low position right here where I can take all of my weight from my back leg and force it through here and get my hips turned, which in, uh, in turn brings my shoulder, which brings my elbow through my hip. And at that point, it's whipping forward and it's creating that torque. So we'll show you what it looks like. Now that you guys have seen the clip, let's give it a try. We're gonna be trying the four step approach on the forehand throw. I've never really committed to a certain number of steps on my forehand approach. What I like about what Jeremy Colling does is it's extremely easy to recreate. Also, he uses a small X step. So he hops off his left foot, does an X step with the right and then plants back on the left. What this little hop does is it allows you to have some downward momentum coming into the plant foot, which is gonna make it a lot easier to plant firmly and get the maximum amount of power on the shot with the most relative ease. So I've got a couple discs here. We're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna try it first with the old Sexton Firebird. So we go right, left. It feels pretty natural. I know I've had a lot of inconsistencies with my forehand recently, and I think a lot of that has to do with my footwork. And I think the more you can stick to something that you can recreate time over time and again and again, the more consistent you're gonna be out on the course. And if you have a good consistent foundation, when you make other changes to your form, it's gonna be a lot easier to keep those things consistent as well. It's a nice Axiom Crave, a little turnover. Got a nice Explorer here. Drilled the net, that was an absolute bomb. Well, all right guys, that forehand form tip from Jeremy Colling seems to be really helpful and it seems to be something you should definitely give a try for yourself. Um, Jeremy uses the two finger stack grip. I think using the two finger stack grip for most people is going to be the best grip, especially if you're not super confident with your forehand already. I think doing a four step approach with a two finger stack grip is gonna give you a lot more consistent results in your forehand almost immediately. So let me know in the comment section if you guys like this type of content. I really appreciate you guys who are watching, interacting with the videos. I'll see you guys in the next video and take care, one more throw. That guy Jeremy was on to something. See you guys in the next video.